Hi, it's Philip Byrne for Phonescoop.com, and here I have the LG Optimus S, which is going to be one of the first phones to come out with the new Sprint ID concept on top of Android. And this phone is going to take a little longer to come out because it's actually running Android 2.2, while the other Sprint ID phones, the Sanyo Zio and the Samsung Transform, are running Android 2.1. And for a quick tour around the device, comes in black and a little bit later it'll come out in this really nice deep purple color that you see here. I especially like these hardware buttons beneath the screen. I've never been a fan of capacitive touch buttons so I was glad to see real buttons with nice travel, nice feedback. You've got the micro SD card slot on the left side. On the right you get a camera button as well as a button for voice dialing. Here's the volume rocker. All of these buttons were a little bit too flush for my taste. I would have liked them to be a bit more raised, but at least on the camera button I was able to find that middle stage for autofocus. So here's the Sprint ID interface. This is the socially connected ID pack. And just quickly looking around this ID pack, you can see my problems with this in a nutshell. For First of all, you've got Facebook here, you've got Gowalla, as you can see, it doesn't say Gowalla, it actually says Launcher because that's actually a link to the Android app market. Same thing happened with Facebook. And this won't actually tell you that it's Gowalla until you've downloaded it and replaced that home screen widget. Now, some of these apps are kind of useful, but a lot of the times they skip out on the most popular apps they could find. So here you have Tweetcaster from Handmark. It's not a bad Twitter client but you really need the official Twitter client if you want to synchronize with your contact lists and your address book. Also for Gowalla, there's no Foursquare that comes preloaded, though of course you can just download that from the app market. There's also a lot of extraneous apps that come with these ID packs, so I'm not sure what about being socially connected requires me to have, say, IMDB or Fandango or Handmark here. I don't know why a horoscopes widget seems like it would be socially connected but that's what it offers and unfortunately I think that makes things a little bit more confusing a little bit more difficult to use and this is what the Sprint ID store looks like these are all free for now but Sprint has hinted that they could charge for packs in the future perhaps when we start to see more branded apps like E! Online, MTV, and Oprah as Sprint promised us at CTIA. So what kind of difference does Android 2.2 make? Well, here on the right, I've got the Samsung Transform. The Transform actually runs with a faster processor, but it uses Android 2.1. Both have the exact same app packs loaded, and I'm gonna switch now to the Sprint branded ID pack. And you'll see the Optimus S is already done. We've already switched packs, it's now just loading up the widgets, and the transform is still working. So especially when it comes to these Sprint ID features, having that Android 2.2 really makes for a much nicer experience. So it wasn't all good news for the LG Optimus S. Like the Samsung Transform, the phone still had some problems with battery life. Of course, Sprint has acknowledged these problems and said that they're probably being caused by some widgets downloaded with the Sprint ID packs that are running in the background excessively. And hopefully this will be fixed in a future update. The phone does get the cool new gallery from Android 2.2, which has some interesting 3D effects and some cool multi-touch gestures as well. And while some of the app packs are disappointing, especially that socially connected app pack and the uh, electronic arts app pack, which only comes with a few silly game demos, there are some that do offer some unique content, like this Yahoo app pack, which comes with a Yahoo Mail, Yahoo Messenger, and even a separate app for Flickr, which is pretty unique on the Android platform. So that's the LG Optimus S. It's a nice compact phone. It doesn't skimp on the cool features that come with Android 2.2. It runs live wallpapers. You get portable Wi-Fi hotspot tethering. 
And I think there is some value in the Sprint ID packs. I think they need to be polished up a bit, but eventually I do think they'll get there. For PhoneScoop.com with the LG Optimus S, this is Philip Byrne.